Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Tailwind CSS in ASP.NET application. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to using uh, JetBrains Rider. You can use Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to fire Rider. And I'm going to create a new solution. Let's name it TailF1. Tail, uh, okay. Let's name it Tailwind Test. Project type, I'm going to choose Web App MVC. And I'm going to set the SDK to it. You can use anything, whatever you like. The process is the same. Okay. And I'm going to leave everything as is. Uh, now let's create. Uh, at first, uh, let's run the application to see uh, our template is working. And yes, it works. Now, since we are we're gonna use Tailwind, uh, but the default template is built with Bootstrap. Let's delete uh, unnecessary components. So I'm gonna just delete Bootstrap. Uh, I'm gonna delete it. Now our application is broken. Okay. Okay, now we need to use, uh, we need to install the Tailwind package. Uh, first, uh, let's go to the Tailwind CSS website and get started. I'm going to use PNPM right now. Okay, so I'm going to open up the terminal. And I'm going to add the Tailwind CSS package. You can see pnpm uh, efficiently adds the package uh, into this project now you can see we have a new json file which is package.json we're gonna run this command in the tailwind init let's see what happens mm -hmm. we can we can see a new js file called tailwind config uh, has been added this uh, J uh, this configuration file uh, will determine how our tailwind works or behaves okay now we need to uh, tell the tailwind to look for which files to compile tailwind css for so i'm going to copy uh, the co content uh, from here and i'm going to paste it paste now since our all the uh, html cs html file is going to be inside the views uh, folder so let's change the folder name to views we are not using the html directly instead we're going to use a razor or CSS html so i'm going to change the extension uh, we need to add the ww root files too uh, since they are will be javascript files and we need to check the javascript uses too so i'm gonna uh, add uh, if you are using uh, pages uh, sv.net pages architecture you can add pages folders too and uh, as many you like since this is a list uh, i'm gonna just stick with the views folders uh, for simplicity and this is our js folder all the js file will be inside the js uh, subfolder and i think this is okay for now now we need to uh, add two more uh, css files because uh, before we actually starting uh, to use tailwind in our app one is input dot css and other one is output.css so i'm going to create those two files input.css and output.css okay uh, in input.css file we need to add these three attributes we can add uh, more custom tailwind uh, component configuration uh, in these files we are not going to reference input.css in uh, our application, but we're going to uh, reference output.css. So let's modify the shared layout. Now let's add the build command at the package.json. To do that, I'm going to add script section. And I'm gonna add dw Dave, and I'm gonna go to the documentation and copy the command from here. 
now we need to modify the input path and the output path which is uh, www root slash css and also for the output www root slash css slash output dot css i'm going to remove the watch flag for now now let's generate the tailwind css initially i'm going to run the command p in npm Div. now if we go to the output css file you can see a whole bunch of basic css uh, classes or modification has been added now let's uh, start using it let's make this uh, welcome text bigger to do that i'm going to go to the index.css email i'm going to change the display for from bootstrap to text uh, for Excel, you can see the suggestion are coming from the extension I installed. Uh, there are extension available for VS Code and I think for Visual Studio too. And apply changes. Now see if our change reflects here, and nothing happens. Why? Because uh, if we copy the uh, class and search for in output CSS, there is nothing uh, called text for Excel. To, uh, to bring text for Excel, we need to rebuild our in uh, Tailwind CSS. To do that, I'm going to run the previous command and the build is succeed. And you can see now there is a class named text for Excel. Now, if we reload the page again and we can see the text became bigger. Now that's a kind of problem because we need to rebuild our Tailwind uh, command every time we change something to or add new classes to our app uh, for instance let's add background color to this div now you can see no changes happens if if you run the build command again and we can see the change effects okay so we want to uh, constantly rebuild the Tailwind CSS as we move forward. Now add, uh, to do that, I'm gonna add one, uh, one more script and I'm gonna add the watch flag and I'm gonna name the command as TW watch. Now this will continuously, uh, NPM or PNPM will continuously look for the changes in our uh, files which we have uh, told to watch here okay now add some more changes such as and if we have changes and we're gonna add we're gonna run our uh, watch command you can see after building the uh, the command does not ends because it's uh, you can see after rebuilding it it closes if it finishes uh, but uh, now it's it's running okay now if you go and reload it and you can see the changes here okay let's remove the uh, gray property from here and you can see the uh, see the uh, changes now if we want to uh, do more changes like shadow lg and we're gonna add something here to class text excel and bg rate <laughs> i'm doing some arbitrary changes okay if we apply changes you can see it automatically rebuilt okay and if we reload it we will see the change immediately okay that's how we're gonna Mm, we can continuously develop uh, further that's how we can use tailwind in our application now i'm going to show you one more trick uh, because this output css contains a lot of white space and uh, comments there but in production we want uh, its minified version so we can do that too by passing uh, the minify flag and if we run the command again and we can see the css has been minified 
uh, but in uh, in development we don't want it to be minified okay so i'm going to create a separate uh, command for this and in this uh, in this command we don't want to be what continuously i want to build it uh, minify it and finish so i'm gonna pass the minify flag and i'm gonna name the command as build now we can uh, build the minify version without keep watching it so i'm gonna run that command i misspelled it and pnpm uh, completes the command and closes and you can see the minify version is here so in development we, we're not gonna uh, run the uh, tw build and we're gonna run it before we release it to the production and we're gonna have some CS proj configuration to do that. Maybe we're gonna see that in later videos. Okay, so that's for today. Uh, thank you for tuning to my new YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care and pray for Palestine. Assalamualaikum.